they have they have little baby uh, lucky cards. I like it. I keep trying to think how I can describe to you the difference between the new and the old glass. I always like watching what she's attracted to. I, I like I always like black combo. Can I make a guess at what you're gonna look at next? Right here, this thing. Yes. How did you know? And I know. first shopping trip out as uh, we didn't go anywhere when we got we got we got here late last night so um, this is their first little trek out and it is a Goodwill store it's in Chula Vista part almost to Chula Vista kind of kind of sort of almost but it's not in the greatest part of town which I think is what makes it a good Goodwill to go to because there's a lot of people who just don't even want to take a chance driving their cars over here. But we will because this is a really good Goodwill. So we're going to get in there. We're going to see what we can find. Let's get shop done. All right. We're going in. We're going in. Hello, welcome. Okay. They, have, they have little baby uh, lucky carts. I like it. All right. Now, I'm definitely being super picky because I only have so much room in the car to get home, so. Mom fuel. I have a feeling somebody's hitting the clothes. Yeah, look at that, straight away, clothes. That's her thing. Her thing is the clothes. Let's see. Hello, welcome. They have like a little boutique section up front where they put nicer decorative things. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, look. Look at him. Look at him. Oh. Ooh, there's a little altercation happening behind us. This is a, oh, he's Fitz and Floyd for $5.99. We're going to get him. You may have seen he does have just a little bit of damage, but he's still pretty fantastic and we're going to get him. Oh, we got some blue. This is a piece of um, probably eco glass. It could be San Miguel, but it's recycled glass. A little bit bigger piece than I want to deal with. Those are cool. Geometric glasses. That's kind of a pretty. Oh my gosh, I can barely pick that up. That is so heavy. That piece right there. This is Wade. California, USA. Wade. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Here we have an emerald green piece, kind of common, and a fun little dog. This bowl has a really pretty look from a distance, but then when I get my hands on it, I can see it's not real great quality. This still has a label on it that says handmade quality. And it comes from Ikea. It says it's, oh, there's, there are two of them. It's a two-piece set. So Ikea makes a lot of stuff that looks like mid-century stuff, but it's not. Let's see what's over here. This is a fake coral piece of decor from Three Hands. $9.99. You can't really get real coral, at least not on the new retail market. So they have a lot of that synthetic coral now to fill that need. I don't see anything else down here. Ooh, these are pretty. Unfortunately, I already see a chip in there, but I'm still gonna take a look. They are Oleg Cassini. Oh, you know what? You know what? I know it has that one little ding, but this is such a high-end set of candles. 
candle holders uh, that for $7.99, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it even with that chip. Seeing if this is like a Starbucks or something, it's just not. This is a piece of cased glass. See the glass and the layer in there. Looks like it was meant to be like a, I wanted to say candle holder, but it's not. It's pretty, but it's pretty contemporary too, so we are going to leave that. This is a really pretty shell vase. It's probably pretty expensive when it was new. They've got it at $19.99. Yeah, I don't see anything else too exciting here. This is a nice crystal basket, with a, and it's newer. Keep trying to think how I can describe to you the difference between the new and the old glass. I will tell you this piece is very thin. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but if you were going to compare it to an older cut glass piece, you would then know the difference. And I think that's how I know as I've touched and had my hands on so much of the older stuff, the newer stuff kind of stands out as that. Oh my goodness, look at this soap dispenser. How fun is he? $3.99. I'm kind of thinking about him for um, Tiffany because her, her doggy's name is Bear, but this guy has a crack on the, the little handle, so we're going to leave him. Look at this box with the brass. Duck is the handle. $7.99. Okay. I say this to Carrie all the time. <laughs> Yeah, we got some dishes down here. Oh, they're strapped together. They are, <laughs> they got a bush in the way. They are Noritake, right there, see the label. Dish sets are hard sell these days. Nobody's really using them, so I stay away from them. They're not my niche. I saw another fun piece up here, this little guy. I don't know what he's supposed to sit on the edge of. <laughs> Oh, he sits on the wall, and he's he's a hook. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm still trying to figure it out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What am I missing here? If he sits, if he's in the wall like this, what is, is he part of a towel bar? What he, how, that's gotta be it. He's gotta be like half of a towel bar. Okay, all right, now I get it. It takes me a minute sometimes. <gasps> Look at the Bob Ross Chia Pet. <laughs> <laughs> I've sold one of those before. They don't sell for a whole lot. They're just fun. Now, if the other half of that bear towel holder was here, I would pick him up. But he's not. All right, let's see these little salt and peppers. $2.99. Kind of got a Ray Dunn kind of feel to them. This caught my eye too. It is signed on the bottom. Goodness, Dar Darwin Calero from Nicaragua for $5.99. That's a really nice piece. Okay, I'm gonna put that one in the cart too. All right, now we're in the back of the store, but there's still some spots you gotta look up and check because I see this piece right here. You know what? I need two hands. This is another piece that uh, I am going to be snagging at $9.99. Uh, these sell for really good money. I Clear ones sell for really good money with these controlled bubbles in them. So I'm going to try to... Yes, I got a couple of little topiaries for Noah. You know how he loves those. Oh, you know what? I'm stuck until I uh, get both hands. Stand by. And there is the bottom. Now you can see it's cloudy, so it's definitely not a Murano piece. But these controlled bubble, large globe type paperweights do sell really well. Be sure to stay tuned for the recap where I'll tell you exactly how much this will sell for. All right, we got some lamps and electronics over in this corner. Not my thing on this trip. Definitely not my thing unless there was something like spectacular. What? I always like watching what she's attracted to. I, I like gold I always like black combo. the gold black. Okay, black. all right. I like, I like a lot. So always learning by shopping with a younger person of you know what kind of tickles their fancy. 
this is probably, is it a Sensi? Yeah, it is. See, there's the Sensi name. Um, it's a fire department one, and if it had the top, I probably would pick that up, but it is missing the top. Yeah, these are interesting. Mikasa, oh, it's the Mikasa Cheers. I guess it comes in mugs and wine glasses and all kinds of things. I'm not going to get those, but I just think it's interesting that uh, there's a whole set there. I'm not going to get them because they're $3 each, so I'd have to invest $12 in that and they probably sell in the 20 to 30 dollar range is what i am guessing i'll do a little research and put a comp up on the screen for you this is not a bodum it is a trudeau <laughs> they had a, a bob ross one up in the front but no i'm gonna be picky i'm gonna be very picky this time and I know, sometimes it hurts to be picky because that was really fun, but this is a Tivana. I know that's a really good brand, but I'm not gonna get that either. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna save my space because this is only the first day of my shopping. I think Jordan's telling me that Tivana has gone down in value. Tivana's out, Starbucks dropped them. Tivana's out. Partner because Starbucks dropped them as their tea partner. Isn't that interesting? This is super heavy, like ridiculously heavy, and I'm trying to see who makes it. It's a Windsor Angels. I think that's what that says on there. Interesting. Super, like super heavy. Goodness. But I was really going for this leaf down here. And it is made by Three Hands. Three Hands makes a lot of stuff. A lot of it is sold at like Home Goods and that sort of store. Very decorative stuff. So this is nothing like super rare or anything. It just has a nice look. And if I was at home, I probably would buy this piece. I'm going to kind of scan my way up from the bottom. Oh, here's another interesting piece of pottery. Nope, not so interesting. Came from Costco. And as soon as I got my hands on it, look, at it, it's lightweight. That was my next clue. But look at this, tortoise shell. Oh, it's um, it's RLL is what? Um, Ralph Lauren Lauren. Is it Ralph Lauren Lauren? No, I don't know. I don't know. She's messing with me. It's a home goods brand. It is a home, no, not, home goods is just like an overstock store. It isn't that it doesn't have good stuff. Oh, it's missing the head off of the little girl, though. It's really creepy without it. It is a little creepy without it. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Who, what's the brand on that? Isn't one. Or it's it's vintage too. It's you can see the made in Taiwan. Yeah, that's that's uh that's unfortunate. Anyway, I'm torn on this. Seven ninety nine, I think, is a little too much to pay for one tortoise shell that's the name the pattern of this glass tortoise shell I do like it I do like it but I'm gonna pass on it oh my goodness Mount Rushmore is that what that is that supposed to be like a buffalo I'm because I'm okay I'm there's things going on with this mug that I think shouldn't be there I, I'm okay I'm just gonna put it down Oh, look at this little penguin guy. Is he just a jar? He's just a jar. I'm, I mean, I don't want to offend you by calling you just a jar, but you really are just a jar. So I thought this was just kind of like a plain mug. Looks like a plain mug, right? Creature cups. <gasps> look inside there. Oh my goodness. I don't want to pay four dollars for him, but I, I'm going to pay four dollars for him. And look at this beautiful piece. I don't like that this is painter's tape on top here. That is just a little dangerous to me. That's not, that's, yeah, let's, because I am not going to take a chance of that coming off of there. But let's just put you aside for a moment. Here we go. And let's look at the bottom. You are... You are who? You are Blue Onion, but what does that say? Let's see if we can get some light and some focus. Still can't read it, guys. Original Arnart creation. There we go. In the Blue Onion pattern, the flower. 
It is $12.99, so I'm gonna look this one up. I, I am gonna pick this up because it sells for at least $30. They get some really interesting kitchen stuff in this store. I think we find stuff every time we come. Like, oh, hello, beautiful. Wowza yowza for $3.99. Oh, look at that. Can you see the little scratches on the bottom there? That's not cloudy. That is scratches. That means this is old. And that is a gorgeous summer so Murano bowl. I also spotted this obelisk and it is like solid marble for $12.99. It's made in Pakistan. These also sell for really good money. So we're going to go ahead and grab that too. Yeah, things I would probably pick up if I were home are things like, you know, the sloth mug and maybe the little tapestry cat kind of thing. Oh no, he's broken. He's got boo-boos. So I would not be tempted to get him. I wish there was more of those lobster mugs because I really like him. I'm really looking through all of like the pottery goods because there could be something really super special mixed in here amongst more contemporary things. So this is Fiesta. Yeah, it's under, I, I can see it. It's gonna be really hard to show you. It is underneath that little label there. Um, it's, it's a newer piece of Fiesta and just a single, so. See, there's another piece of Fiesta with a mark. I can find that kind of stuff at home, so. Not as bent on getting that, but this on the other hand. Oh, ooh, and I see another flower jug back there. $20 for this piece. It is Millie Fiore. Now it's it's not Murano, um, but it's a pretty spectacular vase. And I would personally keep and use this for myself, but I know that this one will go really well in my live sale. This one, okay, that one doesn't have a lid, but we'll just look at the bottom anyway. Oh, this says Japan. Okay, no lid on that one though. Not as exciting. This cobalt blue is just pulling me. Let's see who makes you. Oh, it's just a threshold. Look at that. Threshold is sold at Target. Mm -hmm. Can I make a guess at where you're gonna look at next, Mom? Do what, what? Can I make a guess at where you're gonna look at next? Right here? This thing. Yes, how did you know? How did I know? Although it's not horribly, yeah, it's, it's a newer Chinese piece. Had to look though. Had to look. The little butterfly here. I'm trying to figure out what, what he is. He doesn't hang. He just sits like this. So what is he? What does he do? Is he supposed to be like a flower frog? Or what? I mean, that it's made in China, but that looks like an old made in China sticker. That's intriguing, isn't it? Looks like a moth. Yeah, or a butterfly. It could be a butterfly. You know what? He's just unusual enough. I think I have to get him and figure out what he is. Whoa. Look under there. We must move these and reveal that. Oh my goodness. Hold on. This is Talavera. Yep, Talavera, Mexico, RB. For $14.99. Now, it's an interesting, like I'm in San Diego, you know, the border is just literally miles away. And uh, so you can get this a lot cheaper here, but online, this will sell for a lot of money. So I am going to find a place for that in the cart. All right, this little piece is intriguing, but not super exciting. Hey, there's some cowboy's glasses. Aren't you the Cowboys fan? Not anymore. Not anymore? Oh, okay. What do I know? What pattern is this? It's some Sterling J and G Meekin. There is the creamer and the sugar, but not not valuable enough for us to pick up. All right. Let's see. 
Ooh. It's your green glasses, Jordan. I do see them. I don't have any room. I know. She doesn't have room. Oh, that's interesting. There's another one of those. Now, I was thinking the other one... Um, I was thinking the other one was older, but now that I look and there's two and I'm looking at it, I think these are Mexican blown glass. And I'm not nearly as enamored with this color as the other one. I'm actually gonna rethink the other one now that I've put so much stuff in my cart. I might make some different decisions. This piece is like a home. Yeah, I felt, I felt the top unfinished, not polished on the top. Mexican blown glass there for sure. Mm. Oh, Temptations in the yellow, $4.99. We will take that. Okay, where are you little guys back there? I don't know. Vintage and cute, but nothing that I need to get today, but I am going to look at this. Wow. Look at the color in that. I'm not exactly sure which way is up and what that is supposed to be. Who's... Is, is it a tree? Is it just a like a... It hangs. Oh, it hangs that way. So, is it just a tree? That's just absolutely stunning. For $10. Mmm. You know, gosh, I love it. I love this. Like, I can't, I can't resist it for $9.99. <laughs> She's grabbing it away from me. Stop! Look at this chip and dip. Oh, I love the colors of this. I'm not going to be throwing another party anytime soon, so I'm going to leave it. But, oh, gosh, I like it. But I want to see, I want to see this piece here if I can get to it. Oh, it's just a home goods. They're making everything to look like the old mid-century makers. Look at this. Oh, another little chili pepper. Oh, okay. Back off. Back off, Danny. Oh, here's a little Tetsubin cast iron teapot. $14.99 though. Yeah, I can find these at home. Don't need it. My cart's getting full. I gotta start making some better decisions. It's poo. We found poo. We found poo on the shelf. Let's see. Really interesting stuff, but lots of contemporary stuff. Oh, there are two of these. Who makes you? Oh, they're Crate and Barrels. Crate and Barrels is a good brand. Let's see if I can get them both together so without them falling off the shelf. They're pretty heavy, though. Pretty spectacular, but they're pretty heavy. You know, if I was home, I would get them. If I was home, I would pick these up. But I'm not home, and I, I have several days of shopping left to do, so I'm going to be a little bit picky on that one. Just gotta do it. What are you finding over there? Oh, just a pretty bowl? It's a pretty bowl. Looks like a Mikasa. Mikasa is Mikasa? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's is it see, a holiday bowl or is it just a regular flower bowl? It looks like it's ribbon and flowers. So like regular princess, not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not like a, a Christmas or anything. That's pretty. We have, we have an issue with our cart. Are these piglet? No, they're just pig. Like pig? They're like Peppa Pig. Yeah, Peppa Pig. Let's see. Dishes. Oh, that the violet set is really pretty. I actually think I have some of that violet set that I never listed and probably never will. Oh, I need another bowl. I like Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. I like that. Oh, interesting. 
$2.99 little box. $3.99 though. I can find stuff like that at home. This little copper box on the other hand. Look at that. That's a cool piece. Maybe a, like a Gregorian, but it's not marked Gregorian. It's just kind of a hammered copper. It is $9.99 though. Mm. What to do? Can I get 30 bucks for it? I might have to look this one up. All right, anything else under here? I don't think so. I think the wood section is done. Looking through their little version of the plastics section. That's a well-worn Beatrix Potter children's set. Let's see, oh, what is this? Letters only, but it's a it's a birdhouse. It's like a mailbox birdhouse. Uh oh, wasn't me. Um, Vivid Arts. That's really adorable. Really adorable. But we're gonna leave that one. Okay. Look at this guy. He's not signed or anything though. He's just really cool. Hmm, I wish it was signed. Oh, gosh, what is it with the crowns missing a little notch in them? All right, we're going to leave it. This is very, very Hollywood Regency. $7.99 for the tissue cover. Carrie loves this style. I think I'm going to leave this one, though. I think I'm going to leave it. Did somebody just... No, that's all one piece. I'm not quite understanding that, but... And we got the horse. For $12.99. Yeah, he's not worth $12.99. Okay. There's some interesting little um, African art sculptures up here. This one is so dainty. There's something really cool about this one. I like it. $5.99. And then there's these. Wow, these are dense and heavy, these candle holders. It's just not really the kind of stuff that I sell, but definitely, definitely worth a mention. Those are super cool. Ooh. Oh, and then there was two. Oh, look, there's two more of the crate and barrel little guys. Okay, what would this be used for? It's a world market piece. It's got a little spoon in there. So what, what would you put in there and spoon out? I do not know. All right, here are their toys kind of section. I have to look through the plush because here is an Oshkosh baby for $3.99. It's an apple. That's really cute. I'm really going to stay away from buying plush unless it's super high-end plush. This is probably, I'm going to say, a $12 to $15 piece without even looking it up. And that's what you kind of learn when you zero in on a niche. Then you can kind of know you know the range that stuff is going to sell for and make some decisions based on that i'm trying to see a tag on this dragon <laughs> that's under here though and i don't see a tag on him he is 5.99 he's pretty cool but we're gonna leave him too just because we're traveling let's see got some sweet little brass birds they are six bucks each though oh, hello doggies Come out here and say hi. Let's see who you are. It's $10 for the pair. They are a home goods thing. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna be careful about picking up too much of the home goods stuff on this trip. I'm gonna stick to trying to find some true vintage coolness, but I do love that towel holder, paper towel holder. There's a bird up on a light post. And a little kitty cat watching it. <laughs> And I don't think anything else is super exciting me. 
frames. Oh, they got some kind of the carryover uh, metal stuff over here. Look at this spoon rest for $3.99. Core kitchen. That's pretty neat. But not the type of thing I need to pick up while I'm traveling, so we will leave it. Got another area here. Oh my gosh, look at all of the kind of Warren Kimball chicken boxes. I do love those, but I don't need to pick up stuff like that right now. There's a brand new Springbok puzzle of the States. That's cool. Always looking for anything carding related in sports gear for Noah, but there's nothing here. There's a little one. Those are like all nesting boxes, but they're all priced separately. Another recycled glass bowl. Oh, look how pretty that is. Who makes you? You're a world market. Made in Portugal for $1.99. It's got some crazing. Mm. I'm torn. I like it. But it is chipped. Okay, I found a chip. I can leave it now. I can leave it. I can leave it. Look at this leather wrapped rhino. Now they are asking 30 bucks for him, so we're not going to pick him up, but he's definitely got the cool factor. All right, look at the size of this dog right here. Goodness, he's like a carnival prize dog. Pretty cool. It's always amazing to me, the stuff that you can buy at a thrift store. There's gotta be, there's gotta be 60, 50 or 60 spools of this yarn in here for $25, but it's not my niche. I came around the corner and I spotted these that actually match that bowl that I got. These are panels and there's four pieces here. Four pieces for $25. And I'm trying to see if any of them have like maybe a name or something that helps me date them. I'm just kind of sticking the ones I've looked at up in this little cradle for the moment. But see, nothing. But again, I'm just so drawn to this gold and this red together. Goodness, goodness. It's lacquered. It's beautiful. I know, it's kind of a risk, but I, um, I'm i just so drawn to it. I have to have it. I am just taking a look up at the pillows up here. Come back here and they've got some but I don't see anything I can't live without they just have all these little random things around the store and I had to take a quick peek and see what kind of chips these were you want to look for the clay ones these aren't these are just a like a plastic composite so not as old I'm just taking a quick look through the purses because you know here in San Diego area of California, you're going to get a lot different style than you get out in Las Vegas. So you never know what you're going to find. And uh, purses are certainly easy to list and easy to ship. Not as easy to sell unless you get something really appealing or vintage or high end. So you have to be careful and kind of know what you're able to sell in a purse niche. But look at that. Look at that horsey purse. They do want $20 for that one. It's a Miss Unique is what the liner says. So, it's cool, but we're going to leave it at 20 I'm also looking for like lounge fly, which is very possible to come across, but nope, the rest is clothes over here. I think I found a really cool... Hawaiian shirt that I will get approval from my friend Mikey Bags of Money. It's a Maui legend and it's uh, it's got a really vintage feel to it and it's got that really nice wild Hawaiian pattern. It's $7.99. We're going to take a chance on it. 
So they've got a set of the uh, spring spring daisy, I think that one is, right? Pyrex bowls, but they want $30 for it. And I think a set of three of those goes in like the $40 range, I want to say. They've got a few of like the little refrigerator boxes back there. Oh, like a little Dresden lace girl. That's an interesting pattern. Does anybody know what that pattern is? I don't know what that pattern is right offhand. If you do, let me know down in the comments. Oh look, brand new strawberry shortcake girl. Doll. And then they've got lots of high-end shoes in here. Oh gosh, I really like those. <laughs> I would totally wear those. Okay, I think we're about done. Oh, that looks like an Ogetti piece. <gasps> I'm gonna have to look closer at that. That does look like a Murano piece. I know because I had some birds in that same striping. I don't know if that says $4.99 or $14.99, but either way, I think that's coming home with me. So I've got it out of the case now. There is the bottom. You can see very, very quality workmanship. Um, somebody had it at $37.50, looks like, at their booth. So we're going to go ahead and take that one. So here is how our cart ended up, which means, look at all the clothes. Oh, and she's picking some out for me too. So I guess, I guess the try on haul this time is uh, gonna include me trying on some things too. So stay tuned for the recap. I'm gonna tell you what we bought, how much I paid, how much it's worth based on actual sold comps on eBay. And uh, then after that, we'll do a little trying on of the clothes. All right, stay tuned for that coming up right now. Here's the little try on haul. And what is this out of fit? Shorts and a shirt, which both are a little too big on me, but it's okay because they're comfy this way, and this is my favorite Wait, thing. Wait, that shirt. That's, can't have it. That's the one I wanted it. to steal. If you can't name the character that this is a part of, then you can't have the shirt. Okay? You're so mean. It's yeah. got a bird. I just want the bird. It's not a bird, it's a robot. Oh. Okay. Number two. Number two. Really like this shirt. I'm not sure how I feel about these pants, but they're cute. They're cute. They're I think you could roll up the cuffs on them. Well, they got this fringe hem. Cause that maybe it's like they they're a little longer than you're used to wearing, so they might feel weird. But it's if... not that. It's just like it looks like they're 
jeans that someone cut and not shorts. Well, I feel maybe like the, that's the vibe. maybe they are. But I like the top. I like yeah, the top I love a this lot. Top. This Give us a little twirl. Look at that. Look at the little ruffles. I like them. I like it. I like it. Light and breezy for summer. This is the other shirt that I wanted to steal. I cannot. This is the cat shirt. Wait, Anytime I find a cat shirt, I must have the cat shirt. They're on pizza. They are on pizza. They're pizza cats. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a dozer pizza cat. And now that is my hunt, is to find this but with dozer on it. Oh, how are those shorts? These are better. Wow. These are high waisted. High waisted. Shorts, which they're meant to wear with a crop top, so they're supposed oh, to be the tie. Oh, okay. But they're a little too big, and I can't figure out if I'm a 25 or a 26. Because a 25 is too small, and a 26 is too big. Gotcha. I should gotcha. with a stick. <laughs> All of my hands down here. <laughs> They're cute though. They are, they are cute. cute. I do like them. All right. Next. Okay, that's that's pretty fancy. It is pretty fancy. I'm going to a wedding in July, and I think this is a contender for what I might wear. It could. It could. Yeah, but I can't dance in it very well. This is oh. as far as my arms go up. So. Well, then you might want to rethink that. Can you put that up on your shoulders though, and not have it, it off shoulder? Easy. Well, let's see. I don't. I don't. I. Yeah. yeah do the like this. <laughs> I don't think that's a good uh, go to a wedding dress then. No, but it's a good date night. That's a nice date it's night nice dress. Date yeah. Night give us give like us a uh, give us the full turnaround. Bow in the back. Nice. It is cute. I do like it. All right. I don't know. I think that might be a better oh, go to a wedding yeah. dress. Let's see what it looks like with heels. Because, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect length. This is a Ralph Lauren dress, too. Oh, it's really Ralph like Lauren. It. It's very pretty. And the color is... Um... This is my favorite color. So. What do you... Daisy. Daisy, Daisy do you, like you have it? an opinion? Ma'am, you want to look You want to look at my dress? Do you like it? Yes? No? Give me a, a woo. Oh! <laughs> you want to dance with me? Practice dancing? It's a dancing dress. <laughs> Okay, give me yeah, the full turnaround like view here. Can you turn around? Your turn, Daisy. Oh. Turn around, come on. Turn around. No, no, can't no, do that. No, can't do that it's yet. not happening. <laughs> All right, I, I like that one better for going to the wedding. Yeah, I like this one too. That's beautiful. Don't bite it. Don't bite me either. She thinks I'm leaving, and that's why. She's like, you're dressed up, you're leaving. I don't want you to go anywhere. <laughs> That's not really like my favorite color, but I do like the style. I like this for summer. This is a very good summery dress. I only have like black or green dresses, so this is a good alternative dress color. It is, it is. Give us the twirl. That one's new with tags too. What'd you pay is. for that one? I think $10. 10 bucks? Yeah, and not I really bad. like it. I really like that this part is adjustable up here. So ah, that does, it still yes, fits yes. me everywhere else, but it fits me also here, so. This good choice good the that's a winner all right mom what do we got here so i surprisingly really like these they're shorts they look like a skirt i really look like that. them too you're yeah. definitely lucky you found them first because i would steal them i don't know if this is the top that i would wear with it i have another choice of a top um but i do really like this top that i found because it's just a nice, lightweight, very Kelly Green. Actually, it's a little darker than a Kelly Green, isn't it? It's like a Kelly Green-esque. I don't know but who Kelly is or what her green is, but uh, <laughs> I like it. But yeah, okay. Wait, did I find this for you or did you find it? No, I found this all by myself. Oh, wow. I'm so proud of you. Next. Wait, what do we have here? So my choices aren't nearly as fancy as yours, but um, this is just a really nice, lightweight Chico's tank top that I got for uh, $4.99. I like the color. I got it because of the color. It's a good color on you. Next. All right, who's walking in now? You look like a business lady. <laughs> I'm not a model. Um, these are Michael Kors. Oh. I don't know if you can zoom and see the little uh, they're chains all across this. I do like them. Did I find these for you? No. No, I found these all on my own. Who taught you how to dress yourself? I <laughs> I'll learn from the best. 
Uh, no, these were six bucks. Six. I like them. Um, I yeah. really like them. They look really I comfy, too. They are. They're, they're, and I love that they have pockets. A lot of pants like this don't have pockets, and I'm a pocket girl. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with these. I like. I like. Next. All right. What's happening? So, okay, before I forget the name of it, the pants are Brunello Cuccinelli or some something. They're new with tags. They were, where'd it go? There's a tag in here somewhere. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, original tag is right here. Uh, these were $165 pants. They are made in Italy. I, I kind of am digging it without the dozer fuzz on. Um, but I don't know. Can you see the like the little the lines? Not really. Well, I can't even see them sitting here. So like a, careful, this top is a little loose. Um, there's like it's they're made to like be fitted like riding pants, like horseback riding pants. And they're super, super comfortable. Really, really, really. I like their color. It's that beige that kind of goes with everything. Yeah. So Now I have to debate. Do I keep them or do I sell them? How much did do you I get them for? Do I sell them? I haven't looked them up yet. I'm nope. going to have to look. How much did you buy them for? I bought them for cheap. I bought them for... Geez, I bought them for $6. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I love that Goodwill that we go to. And this... Um, I. It's too big. It's too floppy for me. I like the color. I like the fabric. I don't. It's a little like this. Just feels. It, You're gonna fly away. It's not my thing. Not my thing. So I will probably sell that one. It's cute though. Next. Okay. Who are we now? I like. I like this one. It's that. Um, it's kind of that crinkly, stretchy fabric. And. Um, it's just very light. I like the way it fits. It's like it's not short sleeves, but it's not long sleeves. So it's a good, like a summer evening kind of a thing. Uh, I think you picked this one out. Though. I think I did pick this one you out. I picked this one out. It was $9.99. That's a good one. I don't even know who it is. I didn't look at the tag. It's cute. That's who it oh, is. We should look at the tag. We should look at the tag. Let's see who it is. I'll let you look at the tag. Okay. The tag JM collection. I don't know what or who that is. Oh, you recorded that. All right, this is a winner. Next, what do we got? What do we got? Green. This is Kelly Green. Daisy right? likes it. This She's is a fan. Kelly green. <laughs> Daisy. Okay, I'm going for a walk right now. Uh -huh. Sit. Uh, this is a Chico's. It's got just this nice little bit of a little oh. fancy thing right here. And I don't really wear jewelry, so this is kind of oh. nice to have a little a little element. Um, again, I like the sleeve length. I like the color. I like the pattern. And I do believe you picked this one out for me. I think I did. I think Daisy is a fan. I think this is her favorite outfit on I you. Think, I, think, I think I've got one she's going to like better, though. This is my favorite. I saved oh, boy. the best for last. But... Yeah, so the thing with Chico's is the, the, the sizing is really weird with Chico's. Like, this is a two. I don't wear a two, but in Chico's I wear a two. So don't be fooled by those sizes, because this is a perfect fit, and I'm a medium. Okay, last one. Let's go. This is the last oh. one. We like this. We like this, Daisy. I do. I like this one. This is a Monterey Canyon, a brand I have oh. never heard of. Kind of suspect it might be vintage. Um, it's got that stretchy kind of polyester kind of thing going, but very very thin. Um, I I love the colors. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I like it. And it goes with these pants. It does. I could wear this outfit together. I feel like anything goes with those pants because they're tan. Well, that's true. That's true. But yeah. Daisy, do you uh, like this super one? Happy, and I paid. There it is. Six bucks for this one, too. I like it. Well, that's it. Now you're going to have to start wearing all of these in your videos so that everyone can see. All right, we are done. We are out of here. This store closes rather early because it is in a part of town that starts having some issues after dark. In fact, what you heard earlier in the video was there was 
A gentleman who walked into the store with no shirt, no shoes, and his pants were unzipped and he was wanting to use the fitting room for some reason um, and kind of making a scene. And, and so you had to talk with the employees about what had transpired earlier in the day. Apparently he had been by multiple times and was just removing articles of clothing in the store as he was walking through. So that's why they immediately noticed and was sending him out. Yeah, so that was kind of going on. They've called the police. Police never showed up. <laughs> so we got done shopping. I got to tell you, the employees here, absolutely fantastic. Um, again, this is, what street are we on? 16th. 16th Street in Chula Vista. No. No. It's, it's downtown San Ish. Diego. It's okay, it's on the border, it's on Chula the border of Chula Vista. So. But if you're down this way, this Goodwill definitely stocks really good stuff. If you can just be brave enough to go in. <laughs> so, um, with that, we are headed out. I think we're going to go out to dinner tonight. Oh, you know what I'm going to tell them? Well, actually, they've already seen it because I already put it before this point, the whole try on haul thing. I'm going to try to keep adding those in just to liven it up and have some fun and do a little extra. Uh, so, now we're going to go out to dinner. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are because she's buying me dinner. Well, Grandma. Or her boyfriend's going to buy me dinner. <laughs> so with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. See you on the next one. So we're at this really cool, authentic Mexican restaurant. And the food just arrived. That. Mm, nom, 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 nom. All right. Senador y Cuchilla.